stories for this are President Duterte calls Hage ruling as a piece of paper only. Barangay Captain Renet Solano de Mafeles headed a savings club. The Brooklyn Nets saved their best for last, ending the regular season with their highlight play of the season. Miss Universe Philippines 2020 Rabia Mateo topped in 21. Live in MTS News Patrol. Filipinos, good day. I am Provijan Montano. And I am Mary Frances Palmares. And, and this, this is MTS News Patrol. Patrol. In an interview, President Duterte calls Hage ruling as a piece of paper only. Filipino fishers were affected. Joffrey Ambay has the news. In the recent controversial news, President Rodrigo Duterte called the country's arbitral victory against China's claim the West Philippine Sea a piece of paper only that they can easily dispose in a trash bin. Tapos sabi nila, itong papel na sa kaso na nalo tayo, ipurso mo. Pinurso ko. Wala nangyari. Sabi, actually, in, sa, sa pangbugoy, sabihin ko sa iyo, bigay mo sa akin, papel lang yan. He said that the ruling affirming the Philippines' sovereign rights in its exclusive economic zone will only lead to nothing. However, there is a contradiction in his statement for the past years. On the world's most important diplomatic stage, President Rodrigo Duterte once told world leaders that the Philippines would reject all attempts and remain the 2016 Hague ruling that affirmed the country's rights in the West Philippine Sea. Filipino fishers, coast guard, and citizens continue to face threats not only from the actions of Chinese in the West Philippine Sea, but also from the uncertainty of words of our country's current leader. This is Geoffrey Ambay for MTS News Patrol. For our live report, Barangay Center Este implemented the Fish Forever Youth and Adult Savings Club at their Barangay Hall. What's the update? Julia. Yes, Mary, I am here right now live at the Barangay Hall of Centro S. Celebertad Antique for the implementation of Fish Forever Adult and Youth Savings Club of Barangay Centro Este. This is headed by the captain of Barangay, Rinet Solano de Mafelis. This is to benefit not only the FFSC members but also the entire environment to save money and to keep on supporting and maintaining our beaches as clean as possible. By saving money and to be a good example of a normal citizen who encourages and helps others is the way for it to be successful. This is Julian Bidora reporting live for MTS News Patrol. Thanks, Julian, for the update. There are more top stories to reveal. MTS News Patrol will be right back. Okay, okay. One alcohol, one tissue, one dozen of cream soap, one soap, two trays of eggs, one dozen of toothpaste, coconut. Hands! They're going outside without a mask and face shield? You should always wear this every time you go outside. If I didn't cut you, what else would happen to you? You know, it's very dangerous outside and I don't want to put you any harm. A friendly reminder to all citizens. Be smart. Be responsible.
open minded and alert And we're back. The basketball group named Brooklyn Nets saved their best for last. And they ended it with their highlight play of the season. For more information, here is Chris G. Salmingo. Set to go. We got a lot of love for the fro. The Nets control the tip. The number two seed is on the line here for Brooklyn. A win, and they lock it up. Durant had 23 points, 13 assists, and 8 rebounds. And the Nets took number two seed in the Eastern Conference by beating the Cleveland Cavaliers 123 to 109 on Sunday night. Durant struggled with his shot yesterday. First one is good for KD. The Cavs struggle in their accuracy. They struggle mightily from the three-point line and have issues taking care of the basketball. Kyrie Irving attack mode. Durant, he's got two players setting screens. Irving pops to the outside. Oh, a Kai three! Kyrie Irving added 17 points and joined an elite list of shooters for the Nets, who will open the playoffs next weekend against either Boston or Washington. They meet Tuesday in the playing tournament to determine the number seven seed. Durant made his first eight shots, including the dunk to finish the standout play to bounce back nicely from his four for 17 outing Saturday of the year in the regular season finale razzle dazzle flavor and bring in the spice oh. Durant goes behind the back rims in for Kevin Durant now flirting with a triple double 10 assists 20 points it was a strong finale to his first season back after missing 2019 to 20, while recovering from a ruptured Achilles tendon. We just have one game to win, and we control our own destiny, as Steve Nash to put it. Brooklyn Nets ended the game nicely. Chris G. Salmingo, MTS News Patrol. Rabia Mateo, the Miss Universe Philippines 2020, topped in 21. Let's take a look at this showbiz by Janela Vargas. For showbiz, the Miss Universe Philippines 2020 candidate Rabea Mateo voted top 21 on Monday. Rabea is a native Elonga who was among the 74 candidates who competed for 69th Miss Universe count. Rabea has a degree in physical therapy but plans to eventually go back to school and become a pediatrician. At the height of the pandemic, this 24-year-old volunteered she was gunning for the Philippines' fifth Miss Universe title, but made up to the top 21, while semi-finalists shredded and their fences. Despite for her early exit, former Miss Universe queens who both pride the Philippines sent their support and admiration for the country's best. She enjoys writing stories and acting in her spare time. Philippines! A 26-year-old Miss Mexico Andre Meza brought home the crown during a pageantry held in Hollywood, Florida, USA. The mission is Viva Mexico! to Andrea Meza. Take your first walk as Miss Universe. The 
with Miss Brazil Julia Gama as first runner-up. Round out the top five are Peru, India, and Dominican Republic. This is Janelle Vargas for Showbiz. And that was our most top stories for this hour. From the MTS team, we are hoping that everyone is in their good condition. We support what people deserve. I am Rovijan Montano. And I am Mary Princess Palmares. And, and this, this is MTS News Patrol. Patrol.